Okay, events and delegates. In this video, I'm going to create a, an implementation for using events and delegates in a real world use in Unity. So we go into code events and a delegate, and our focus of the events is going to be the sun. And the two events will be the sun up and sun down. So when the sun comes up, I want this object, my solar panel, to rotate so it gets the sun in every direction and when the sun goes down another event I want the panel to stop rotating because I don't want it to waste energy <laughs> okay so I'm going to set up my scene firstly I'm going to get this panel and I'm going to put it outside of my solar farm to begin with but also parent it in another object because I'm going to animate this object and I want the transform to be relative to its parent that's why I'm making a separate object so I'm going to call this panel with a capital P and grab this one, drag it in here and uh, now we can animate it so let's zero it out firstly okay to animate this let's open our animation panel and record one let's call it panel rotation so just setting up my scene before we dive into the events and delegates so just setting up a really simple animation I'm going to rotate the panel about 90 degrees and that's all I'm going to do stop recording and if we jump into the animation itself panel rotation I'm changing the wrap mode from default to ping pong because now once the animation stopped playing it will play in reverse and then play in the normal orientation again just so you guys know what I'm talking about I'm going to attach this and play the game right now as you can see the panel rotates and then it goes back in reverse uh, reverse order then etc etc that's what ping pong does can, can come in handy it's a good result here but I would not use it in the real in the final build of the game okay so that's our setup completed so let's dive into the events and delegates I'm going to call this sun events this script so like the previous video let's uh, split this script up into sections number one we need to define the delegates and events okay number two we need to define methods to call the events like the previous video number three subscribe game objects to the events and number four we did left this out in the previous video we need to find a way to call the events okay in this case it's going to be a GUI button click just to keep things simple okay that's our plan the first thing is to define the delegates and events so we need a delegate for our sun so let's define it public delegate void and I'm going to call this sun handler and I'm not going to bring in any arguments I'm going to bring in some in the next video but I'm going to keep this example very very simple so we're going to def define two events public static events we need to conform to the sun handler even though we have no arguments and the first event on sun up so we're interested when the sun is coming up and when the sun is going down okay so these are our two events we are interested in here the next thing to do is to define the methods to call the events and I'm, again I'm going to keep this very simple we need to define these methods within the same script we define the delegate and events otherwise unity will flag an error you can try this if you like but unity will flag an error so public static void I'm going to call this sun up and within this method we just need to check if there are subscribers to this event so ifs on sun up doesn't equal null then we can indeed call this event simple as that so I'm going to copy and paste this and do this for on sun down as well okay so that's number two done define the methods to call the events so now we can refer to this method from any other script which will in turn call the events if they are if there are subscribers to them number three subscribing game objects to the events okay and uh, I want my panel to be subscribed so to do this I'm going to create a new script create C sharp and let's call this uh, panel control okay so let's open this up so that we can delete this now so I want to subscribe 
uh, this game object to my events and the best place to do it in this case would probably be on the awake method when the game object is first instantiated in the game and to do this we can refer to the event in our scripts so sun events on sun up plus equals and now we can define a custom method in this script to uh, determine what happens when the event is called so I'm going to call this method sun up and we don't need to con we don't need to um, write the arguments in here because the script already knows that we are conforming to the sun handler delegate but in this case it doesn't matter because we have no arguments anyway so the same thing for the sun down uh, let's copy that and in this case we can define another method in this script called whoops sun down okay on sun down so here we have just subscribed to two events when the sun goes up and sun goes down we want these methods to be called in our script let's just quickly define them so public void sun up public void sun down okay so we've subscribed to the events so we also might want to unsubscribe to them and in this case I think the best way to do it is in the destroy method so when the game when the game object is removed from the scene and to do this we simply put minus equals instead of plus equals so you might realize we're calling the same method on sun up which handles the animation but in this case it doesn't matter because when we call the destroy method the object is totally removed from the game so it's irrelevant what this method does in the next video we, we can configure this method to handle what happens if we subscribe or unsubscribe we can pass in a boolean or we can pass in uh, more uh, arguments in the handler to determine what happens but we can do that in the next video okay so when the sun is up I want to find a game object so game object panel game object panel equals this transform find child and uh, we want to find the panel within the panel object so we want to find the panel child object dot game object and let's just cast it as a game object just to be safe and make it easy for people to read so once we have the panel we can then um, control the animation so panel animation play and that's it when the sun is up I want my animation my panel animation to play and when the sun is down I want my animation to stop so stop so this is it this this should be the meat of your code the stuff that happens when the event is called okay guys so I think we've dealt with that now um, subscribe game objects yep the last thing to do we need to find a way to call the events okay in this case it's going to be a GUI button click so so to do this I'm going to um, define a GUI method inside of my sun events just for argument's sake we're not going to do this in the final game obviously just as an example in this video so I want to make a button so um, if um, GUI button a uh, new rect just cr uh, a very generic button so 2020 20, must make it 200 wide 30 down and I'm going to call this toggle sun okay that's cool so if the sun is up we want to call the sun down method if the sun is down we want to call the sun up method and to track this we need to add one more variable so I'm going to call it public static boolean is sun up and the default value is going to be false okay so now we can say if is sun up so if the sun is already up we want it to go down so we can then say well is sun up is now false and also we want the sun to go down so sun down okay guys and else if the sun is not up we want it to go up so is sun up equals true sun up calling the sun up method because we're in the same script we could actually indeed call the event and not the method but if another script wants to access the events we need to call the method we cannot call uh, an event from another script unity won't let you do that so just to be on the safe side we've wrapped these events inside the method okay guys that's the reason we've done that okay so this should work now let's save things out and um, so when we click this button 
the event is fired, when the event is fired, the subscriber should realize it has been fired and then call their method so the event, the animation should play or stop. All right, so let's see if we have any errors. No, we don't. That's good. I'm just going to attach the scripts onto this. So on the panel, panel control, and on my empty game object, my world object, I'm going to attach the delegates and events. So sun events. Right, let's play the game. Okay, one more thing I need to do. I think I need to turn off the automatic play animation. That's cool. So let's play the game. Let's go over to my panel. So when we click toggle sun, the event is fired and the animation starts playing. When I click it again, boom, it stops. Okay, guys. So the last thing I want to show you guys is how to destroy the object. Um, I've copied and pasted a bit of code. Um, I'm going to add an on GUI method to the panel control. We shouldn't really do this because every single panel will overlap um, its button. So, But if when we click the button I want to destroy the game object and the point I want to make is because the game object is being destroyed it doesn't matter what method, <coughs> sorry, what method we call. So let's just hop over and play the game. So my new button's been created. Let's toggle. Everything works there. We can toggle it. That's fine. So when we destroy, boom, the game object is destroyed. So that was ju that just proved my point, and there's no errors in Unity. Okay, so I'm going to do one more video where we we can expand on this script and um, add some arguments into our Sun Handler just to make our event setup a bit more complicated. Okay, so thanks for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, see you in the next video.